hey friends it's me i'm back how are you all okay so i need to apologize first of all at the start of this vlog for being a really terrible content creator because i haven't actually created any content in a hot minute like literally not a single thing i also had so many videos pre-filmed and scheduled before i left to come to the states that i fully intended to just have running while i was busy settling in and everything um and then i've completely failed to schedule any of them so they will all be on their way at some point i promise i'm looking very um sun drenched i think at this point i'm very shiny and a little bit red faced and kind of puffy today and i think i'm just like swelling from the heat so please do excuse my appearance i thought i looked better than this when i got ready but apparently not but it's fine also apparently i forgot to charge this camera so that's wonderful so the rest of this vlog is probably going to be filmed on my phone because this is going to die on me but we're going book shopping today. We're gonna to go to Barnes and Noble because the weather's really hit and miss and I just wanna get out of the house. So and that's where we're going. We're gonna to go to Barnes and Noble. This will be my second visit since I've been here. We're gonna go see what's new in, see if they've got any fun books, maybe pick something up, maybe not. I don't know, I'm not committing either way, um, but that's what we're gonna go do. So let's call a lift and let's go have some fun and hopefully i will stop looking quite so puffy when i get out because this is not the vibe been back for like a hot minute but i had to charge my camera because i tried to film this and it died on me so love that for me anyway i'm just going to refilm the entirety of this clip because i can't be bothered trying to figure out where i left off last time so basically i don't know how much footage i actually managed to get in inside Barnes and noble this time i normally try and film like a little bit of like cutaways and like montage footage of me browsing but the store was actually really busy this time and I don't know, I just felt kind of self-conscious. So I didn't want to like do too much vlogging or whatever. Um, but I got a little bit of footage, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. There wasn't like a huge amount of choice this time. I feel like that Barnes & Noble is quite hit and miss. Sometimes I want to like leave with about 15 books and other times like I will struggle. Today I went there with a couple of books like in mind that I really wanted to pick up. One of them I did find, which is really good. And it was one that I specifically wanted the US edition of. So I desperately wanted to get my hands on it on this trip. The other one I'm still looking for. So I'm hoping to visit at least one other Barnes & Noble location before I go back to the UK. And I will be looking for that book specifically on that visit. But anyway, I'm gonna just show you guys the four books that I picked up today. And then when I get back to the UK uh, next month, I am gonna do kind of like a full haul of all the books that I picked up. This visit, last visit, future visits, and also anything that's arrived for me um, while I've been away, because I know I've got a couple of pre-orders that should have been arriving, and I'm pretty sure I did some Amazon amazon orders as well because i just need something to come home to you know to like ease the disappointment of being back in the uk anyway with all that said i'm just going to jump into the haul because i have four books and a little bookmarks i'm going to show you this first because i love the barnes and noble bookmarks i don't know what it is about them i just think there's so much more variety and they're so much cuter than the ones you can get back home so i always like to pick some up when i visit just so i have a little bit more selection and this one's really cute i haven't got one like this already so this is why i thought i'd go for it and this one's like a little charm bookmark and it's got a little astronaut at the bottom 
and then it has this charm at the top that says never stop looking up and i just thought that was really cute so i got it obviously um then on to the books so this first one i have seen a few times and i've been browsing and i've wanted to pick it up but i always thought oh maybe i'll just get it on my kindle instead and then today i just decided actually i'm gonna get it in physical copy and that is rush by maya banks this is book one of the breathless trilogy so that's a trilogy that i believe focuses on three different men and i'm guessing each book is going to be their respective love interest so this one is gabe and mia and this sounds very Fifty Shades. Basically, he sees her at a work event. It's his best friend's little sister. And he decides all of a sudden she's grown up enough to handle what he wants to throw at her, which appears from the look of the first page, which I looked at while I was eating my grilled cheese, it appears to be some kind of a sexual contract. So it's feeling very reminiscent of Fifty Shades and the contract that Christian gives to... Oh my God, is she called Mira as well? I can't remember whatever she's called it's been a long time since i've read those books um but yeah i haven't read like a uh, like a sister's best friend type book before i haven't read anything like this from a man's perspective for quite some time so i'm looking forward to trying this i have a feeling it's going to be very smutty i haven't really heard anything about this book or this author before so i'm really really curious to delve in and see what it's like i also think he might be a billionaire because um well he definitely is it says gabe jason ash are three of the wealthiest most powerful men in the country so yeah very excited for this next up i couldn't resist it i got book lovers by emily henry i've seen so much hype for this book around and i really 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 loved beach read when i read it so i just thought you know what let's get it it's one of those really satisfying like rough feeling us paperbacks that are my absolute favorite and i much prefer the us cover to this than the uk cover so i thought you know what let's just get it let's just see what the hype is about next up as you guys know i'm working my way through grady hendrix's back catalogue at the moment i love his work um myself and my friend tori uh basically buddy read everything that he's written so i'd read two books prior to meeting tori and i got her to read them both she loves them then we were read uh we sold our souls together earlier on this year and the next book we decided to read together is horror store i'm so excited for this one i love the fact that grady hendrix makes each of his books really unique and really individual both in terms of like cover design format and everything else so for example my best friend's exorcism looks like a 80s horror vhs like cassette tape whatever um and then we sold our souls it looks like the cover of a rock magazine like rolling stone this obviously looks like the ikea catalog and it's formatted inside to look a little like the ikea catalog as well hang on a minute let me show you the, like the start of it do you see what i mean like it looks like the ikea catalogue and i'm kind of stoked for it so me and tori probably aren't going to read this till later in the year but i wanted to pick up the physical copy and i didn't know if i ordered it in the uk whether it'd be the same as the us edition which i obviously love so i picked it up just in case and then finally one of the books i deliberately wanted to get while i was out here is cleopatra and frankenstein by coco mellows i really love the us edition i think this cover is just absolutely stunning so i did pick it up there's supposedly a um, hardback sale on in Barnes & Noble at the minute, but I didn't get anything off this. So I don't know if that's still going on or if it's only just on like selected um, hardbacks rather than new releases. But yeah, this is supposed to be amazing. So this is a debut novel from Coco Mellors and it basically follows a girl from England who's on a student visa in the US who meets a guy, at, has her student visa's coming to the end and they get married so that she can get her green card and stay out in New York as a painter. And then basically it's kind of like a character study on their lives and everything else. I think it's supposed to be quite dark from what I've seen. Like it's not supposed to be like a romance novel. Um, it's been compared to Sally Rooney, which I find very interesting. I love love Sally Rooney so much um and yeah I'm just I'm really excited to kind of delve into it it says um for readers of modern lovers and conversations with friends an addictive humorous and poignant debut novel about the shockwaves caused by one couple's impulsive marriage 
and yeah i find the idea of it fascinating i'm very very excited to delve in and see what it's all about and this is definitely going to be one i think i saved some back in the uk that i can just immerse myself in this feels like quite like a september kind of read for me i definitely prefer to read like those kind of darker more involved books later on in the year definitely giving me obviously not dark academia vibes but kind of similar feelings as the dark academia books do so yeah very excited for all of these um i don't know what i'm gonna pick up next i'm currently reading pack up the moon by Kristen hannah not Kristen hannah wait Kristen higgins um and i have some i have some thoughts i have some feelings it's not as emotional as i thought it would be there's been one racist slur that really took me by surprise that i did not expect to see in that book at all and that's kind of made me feel a little bit strange about it and i don't know if that's because in the uk that's considered a major slur i don't know if it's the same in the us obviously i'm not going to repeat it on on this video um but yeah that's kind of like dampened my reading experience somewhat i've also been in a major reading slump for the last like kind of 10 days because i read city of gods and monsters and it was terrible um so so that is kind of my quick little reading update. I'm definitely going to do like a, a overview of every single book that I've read whilst out in the US at some point over the next week or two. I just need to basically catch up with everything that I need to edit and need to upload and everything else. I need to take advantage of being out here and having fast Wi-Fi. Um, but as you can probably tell, because I'm chattering away, I have missed filming. So this is the PSA that the videos will be coming back more regularly. I'm very, very sorry. I've just been kind of enjoying being back out here and reuniting with my friends, taking advantage of the sun, buying books, just living my best life. Um, I still have maybe like three weeks left of this trip, maybe more. I don't know if I'm going to stay out for a little bit longer. We shall see. Um, so yeah. That is where we're at. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, as always, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye, guys.